This video is sponsored by Era. Michael Jordan is the most famous basketball player to ever live. And after winning six championships, he made billions of dollars. Yeah, billions with a B. And what did he spend his billions on? Well, mansions, of course. Crazy, huge, customized mansions like the one I'm standing in front of right now. This place is insane and currently for sale for $15 million. This house is over 35,000 square feet, has not one, but two basketball courts, and it literally has Michael Jordan's name written all over it. But MJ has owned more than one mansion, some of which he kept a secret. The other day, my mom sent me this newspaper article rumoring that Michael Jordan may have owned a secret mansion in a small town in North Carolina. The same small town in North Carolina that I bought a $5 million mansion from an anonymous seller just two years ago. Let's go in and check this out. I got some crazy things to show you guys. Just like Jordan's known mansion, this house has crazy features, including a bridge, a lake, and two basketball courts. I think I found enough evidence to suggest that Michael Jordan was the anonymous seller that sold me this house, and I'm gonna prove it. Here is the state of North Carolina where Michael Jordan's story all began. He was born right here in Wilmington, North Carolina. He then went to college at UNC Chapel Hill, which is right here. After college, he moved to Chicago where he played for the Bulls and built that crazy mansion. After that, he moved back to the state in Charlotte, North Carolina. He bought the Charlotte Hornets, did a bunch of business, and has a second residence in downtown Charlotte. Now, if you look at these three locations from Wilmington to Chapel Hill, Chapel Hill to Charlotte and back, it makes this triangle of influence that Jordan has all over the state. In this triangle of influence, Jordan owns restaurants, businesses, NASCAR team, and has donated millions of dollars to charity. So what does this have to do with me and the house that I bought? Well, my house is located right here, right next to his triangle of influence. Is it possible he had a secret mansion a little bit closer to where he grew up? Is it possible he never told anyone? And is it possible he sold that mansion to me? I think so, and I'm gonna take you around the property and I'm gonna show you all the proof of why I think Jordan sold me this house. When I purchased this house, the listing said it came with a tennis court, and that it did. We have done so many different crazy things out here, one of which was building a crusty crab and then destroying it. Next, I filled the tennis court with a bunch of trampolines making my own trampoline park. Lastly, I bought giant Legos and built crazy Lego structures, including towers and a four-story Lego castle. With all these projects, the tennis court definitely took some abuse and the top surface is ripping up underneath revealing another surface. And I think this surface was an old basketball court. This court is the exact size to host an NBA size court. And I think Jordan covered this thing up because it's a lot easier to sell a house with a tennis court. What are you filming? What? Did you say Jordan? Yeah, yeah Jordan, this yeah. is Jordan's house. Michael, <laughs> Michael Jordan, the Look, he's from North Carolina, you know that, right? Yeah, that I know. Yeah, he was born and raised, he went to Everyone school like five minutes from here. This is a <laughs> secret mansion. So this is his like basketball court that he's yeah, like here's, on. You're saying he owns it now? No, he sold it to me. He had to be anonymous. I understand it's like a nice house and you spend a lot of money on it, but I don't think that means that he owned it. There's two basketball courts on the property. Unless you find some proof. I wouldn't believe it. I'm yeah. not gonna believe it. Read the article, it says Jordan's up in these parts. All right, so All right text us the article and the then, article? yeah. You guys are haters, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna keep going on with the house tour because everyone has been following along. You guys clearly are not, but come on, let's go. Okay, fine. I mean, look, those guys are just being haters. Let's keep going. All right, just, be, just because a rich, famous person lived around here doesn't mean that this house was owned by him. It's ridiculous. I know, there's like a thousand houses around here. There's no way like it's this, that house. He's reaching, right? Yeah, it's there's just no, a little bit. I okay, I, I have an idea how we can mess with him real yeah. quick. Okay. Here, come with me. Come okay. <laughs> an idiot. This is the main house here on the property and the construction started in 1989 with construction finishing in 1990. And the timeline lines up perfectly because Jordan's career started in the early 90s and we know he bought multiple mansions and this is definitely one of them. When I first moved into this house, we found an old photo of the property that we then recently framed. And here's what it actually looked like when the house was first constructed back in the early 90s. Over here on the horse barn, there's a ton of horses in the back and an entire horse ring. Jordan does have a connection with horses as he was an avid horse gambler. This is where he kept his prize horse collection. All right, so we weren't buying it at first. I don't think that it is Michael Jordan's house, but the more we do our research, there's a possibility, right? He was born nearby. He did go to college less than 20 minutes away from Carter's house. He owned a basketball team in the area. Carter's kind of on one right now. He really thinks that it's true. He really thinks that MJ used to live around here. We're not going to shoot him down, but we kind of had the idea that what if we just like... Kind of mess with him now. What if we mess with him a little bit? We're coming to this local restaurant, McLean's. And we just printed this picture. <laughs> 
that you can find on Google if you just scroll down a little bit of Michael Jordan and some other famous people. And we're going to sneak into this restaurant and we're going to put it in the restaurant and then we're going to make a fake headline or something saying that he used to be a regular here. So then Carter comes and investigates it. So we're not going to give him what he wants. It's just because <laughs> it is so unbelievable. Like yeah. Michael yeah. Jordan. Anything's possible, but also messing with your friends is pretty funny. So I think it's better. So let's do this. Let's do it. The key feature of this house is that it has floor to ceiling glass windows, 360 degrees all the way around with 25 foot ceilings. The ceilings are so tall, you could literally have a basketball court in here, sit on the couch, and practice free throws as you're relaxing and watching TV. All right, Ryan is ordering it now, distracting them, watch this. Ryan, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, get out. Let's... Jordan, without a doubt, was a master of his craft, and he didn't get there without studying the sport. He was known to watch tons of gameplay to study exactly how he can improve, and what better place to do that than a movie theater in your own getaway house. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> it's on the wall. It looks so good. Stove and I, we didn't even like talk about it. We were just kind of waiting like until we had an opportunity. And at the same time, yeah. I went and distracted her and he put it on the wall. It was execute. Ooh. Chef Legit, chef. we did not talk about the plan at all. I just, we just kind of knew. Now we got to get back and convince Carter to come here. I think he will. And then he's going to see that photo and be like, oh my gosh, it's a sign he did own this house. All right, let's go. We all know that Jordan went to UNC Chapel Hill. One of the most popular places on that campus is a place called Old Well. It's a place where everyone takes graduation photos. And here at the Team Rar House, we have pretty much Old Well. I mean, the shape and size and design is so similar, I literally don't know what else to call it. I think this design was inspiration from someone who graduated from UNC, and I think it's possible that Jordan wanted a little homage to the university where his entire basketball career started. All right, so to make Carter really believe that Michael Jordan actually lived here, Stove and I typed up a fake article saying Michael Jordan used to eat at this local restaurant. Ooh, it is a hot day here at Michael Jordan's mansion, and I definitely need some water. My favorite new way to enjoy it is with a product called Arab. Mmm, that is tasty. I bring air up just about everywhere I go and I realize that I've been drinking a lot more water. It makes it so easy and really adds a ton of flavor without any additives or sugar. Air up makes drinking water fun and it's way better than a disposable water bottle. You fill it with regular tap water and then on the top you have these different flavor pods. They come in tons of amazing different flavors. Air up flavors the water through scent alone so that means no additives at all. No sugar, no calories, just the flavor. There are so many different flavor pods and I'm gonna try my new favorite apple. So let's go and open it up I'll show you how this product works. All you have to do is open this up, get your air up bottle filled with water, you push this on the top, and then you pull up like this to activate it, and then you drink water. Mm. It makes plain old water way more fun to drink. Get your air up water bottle today and check out some of the fun flavors they have. Use the link down below and use code CARTER to get 10% off your air up order. Yep. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we went to the library. We kind of felt bad. We were hating on you. And we found this article. And I think you should read it. It's from 2019, four years ago. Basic. Michael Jordan spotted at McLean's. And that's like literally that's down the road. I told you Nine, guys. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't say he spotted. It says they think he was spotted at McLean's. Sarah Mitchell. She, Claim. She's a local. Says she was having lunch with my friends when I noticed someone at the corner table. I swear it was him. I'm telling you, this was his secret mansion. So, and he would get food down the road at McLean's four If it was really ago. him. You could go there. This is before he sold it hey, to me. That was right before he you, sold it to you. If you talk to anyone there, they might know something. All right, let's go. Anyone who works there. I'm gonna talk to the, the manager or the owner. If he was there and someone says it on camera, it's proof. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> Get out of here. We're gonna leave the property, go into town, and see if we can find clues that Michael has been here. There it is. McLean's Old Time Cafe. Wait, hold up. Yo, tell me that's not Jordan right there. Dude, that's crazy. So he was here. He's definitely here. That's all the proof on top of everything. We gotta get back to the house. I gotta tell Stove and Ryan. I can't believe I am living in Michael Jordan's house. I'm shook right now. Oh my gosh. What's, what's in here? Okay. This way, down here, down here, down here. Go on. Okay. Go. 
come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we assembled a box full of stuff that looks like MJ would have owned it at one point. Yep, yep, yep. Down here. No one's ever really come down here before. Bro, there's rooms down here? Oh, this is gross. <laughs> Hold on. Chuck it as far as you can. Chuck it. But that's too obvious, gotta hide it. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I did not expect us to find proof like that, but I mean, if it's out there, I mean, the community knows. Everyone just keeps it hush-hush because they knew this was his quiet hideaway to get away from it all. Everything is making so much sense to me now. This is Jordan's house. No. Yeah, look at this photo. <laughs> Yo. That looks like Jordan. That's Jordan. Wait, 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 that is him. That's actually him. That is him. Oh, that's Scotty. That's Scotty Pippen. That's Scotty Pippen and Jordan right there. Yeah. And that's me. Yeah, we know that's you. I got to me. I will say that is Jordan Pippen though in that picture. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. So yeah, and that's me. That is you. We understand that. You don't have to say that. The new <laughs> owner of Michael Jordan's house. The whole wall is littered with other famous oh, people. Wait, is it about? That's Carter Sherr. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, here's what I'm thinking. We want to believe you. We want, yeah. we want to believe you. That's why I went to the library we looked. We'll help you find actual evidence. If he lived here for so long, he had to leave something behind. Ryan, I've lived here for almost two years now. I've looked everywhere. You looked above every garage. You looked yes. in every closet. No, you didn't. And what about in the horse barn? Yes. Okay, what about the weird room under the pool? Okay, I haven't really been down so there. So let's look in places. And we can find, you must have left something here if you lived here for so long. <laughs> okay, okay. When I first moved to this house, I filmed a video where I went all around the property exploring all the potential secret rooms. One of the secret rooms was under the swimming pool, but in that video, it was so gross because it was flooded with septic that I actually didn't go in there, and I've never been in it there. It smells really gross in there. Maybe the septic flooded in there again. Oh boy. I went in and I gagged. Well, let's go check it out. Whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. This definitely looks like the pool room, the rooms of the house. Uh, lots of rain and stuff. I don't know if there's like old things left over. A lot of it looks pretty old and dusty. Yeah, there's a basketball. Okay. This whole photo's of the house. Yo, hang on. You said you guys went in here? Did you not see this box? We went in the other side and yeah. it smelled really bad. We had to run out real fast. The right side smells terrible. Yeah, why? What's up? Well, there's a basketball. Oh, but then there's like nice. shoes. Hey. Yo. And there's old photos of the house. Yeah. And like jerseys. And what, what size are the shoes? Yeah, what size are the shoes? Because what, what, he was like size 13, 20. I think. Well, this is a 13 and a half, though. Oh. This is size 13. Michael Jordan wore different size shoes on each of his feet. <laughs> okay. Stop. okay. Stop. He wore a size 13 on his left foot and a size 13 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo! How is that just sitting in the pool room? Also, look at these old photos. Oh, is this NBA? is the, this is out front of the house. Are you seeing this? These are NBA shorts. I think this is January 27th, 2000 is the date of this picture. Right, I told you guys, this is Michael Jordan's house. You guys there's believe no me now. There's, I can't believe it. This box of old Jordan stuff has got to be worth a fortune, especially literally found abandoned at Jordan's secret mansion. I, I'm just literally speechless. I can't believe I bought one of the most famous people of all time houses. Do you think that you, could, you could sell this for a while? Yes, dude, this is if thousands. You could, if you could prove it. You can right. prove that this is Michael Jordan? It is, it's got his name written all over it. The whole house, the whole property. I mean, there's yeah. no way you can't authenticate this. Look, 13 and a half. Yeah. That's literally proof. What are you doing? Don't is that, smudge it, is stop. That, is that written on by pen? Is no, that a you rubbed it marker? off. Is that a permanent marker? Why would you rub it off like that? Why would we write it on like that? Why would we place the boxes like that? Why was there a picture at the restaurant? <laughs> We didn't think this was his house, so we decided to mess with you. So we printed a photo, and then we drove to the restaurant. We framed it. And then Stove put it on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then we came back, and then I made an article. We typed up, yep. I photoshopped it onto the old article, printed it, gave that to you, and then we made that box full of stuff, and we put it underneath. We I mean, put it underneath the pool for you. How do you explain the tennis court being a basketball court? It, well, <laughs> the tennis court is literally a tennis court. Yeah. <laughs> How do you explain the tall ceilings? How do you explain the old well resemblance of the university? Okay. Carl, oh, yes. Carl, I feel like you're trying to convince yourself. Yeah, now you have this. <laughs> I'm sold. I don't know what you guys are I'm, talking about. Genuinely, guys, genuinely. Comment down below. I think they're trying to devalue the Team Raw house because they're jealous of the amazing property you guys run, which makes no sense at all. But you guys comment down below. What do you guys think? Is this Michael Jordan's house? I'm still convinced. 
honestly, this could be Michael Jordan's house. There's no proof against it. There's just sadly no proof for it. Thanks again to Eric for sponsoring this video.